Greetings. Bloody peasants! Alfred Grilrigas will not suffer to get this sickness afflicting this town. Now be gone. Take your poisoned air and get out of my sight. It's bad enough that I'll be quarantined here. Back, back, you imbecile! These robes are woven of Canarot gossamer. You won't touch them!
You have completed the task that the Hierophant set out for you, as all travelers are expected to. Well done. What I invite you to join is not a fraternity, not a guild. It is a family, a race, a bastion for those of like mind and talents. All travelers are now your kin, and you theirs. Now, the Hierophant has called for you to serve again. The Seer demands, so you must answer. The next task is unique. It involves stealing from one of my kind. Amater, Lord of the Hunt. Fallen member of the Courts of Summer. This is what I can tell you of the task. Pray at the Hierophant Shrine and receive their blessed wisdom. You must go to the Hierophant Shrine and pray. Only then will you be awarded the knowledge you need to continue. Good luck. So, you've come to me again, Shade. So competent you were in your last mission that I've prepared another for you. You will steal Buru's boots from Amater, Lord of the Hunt, once member of the Court of Summer. There has not been word of the Lord of the Hunt for some time. When I scry for him, I only see portents of his herald, Ergaze. The road to the boots lies through her. You must seek her out in the Shi and learn where to find Amater in the boots.
Hello there. Well, you've got a lively bit of swagger about you, traveller. Fancy on helping me with a bit of work. It's keys I need, Burke. Prison keys. The travellers are getting locked up in record numbers. I'm not one to sit around with my mouth agape. Getting these keys could save a traveller from the noose, but to get them, you'll need to get to jail yourself. Talk's one thing, Burke. You bring me those keys, and then I'll know that you decided to do it. Pleasant travels, Burke! Bernard's the man to see if you're looking to fence some items. Hi, good day! You there, halt! Off to jail with you! What do you want? You're welcome in Dyden Hill always. That's all the plague shield then. We have enough to last for a while yet, at any rate. Please, have this as thanks. On with you, get! These damned boggarts. <laughs>
to town for the craft hall? Hello. We'd normally be better stocked, but with the blood plague, well... Our door. Doors are always open. The malicious store of potions has been used up. We lost our alchemist nearly a month ago. Now it's up to me to resupply reagents and brew the potions. Somehow. Our biggest problem is Bargats. And the best thing against them would be fire. So it's fire potions. Tinder twig and scarwood bark. They're out in Glendara wood, but the wood's been far too dangerous for the likes of me. You do seem the brave and heroic sort. Well, the village has a fun. Tinder twigs often in that cave-like pass south of the lake. And scarwood barks found by the ruins in northern Glendara Wood. Kester and Cora. They're the cornerstones that hold this village up. This is Dyden Hill Village, Traveller. Good day. 